Good morning. It is Wednesday, October 7th. I'm Tim Ryan. I'm Lauren Priswell. There was a lot of confusion and frustration yesterday as roads around downtown Dallas were closed. They're basically filming this TV show and yep. boy, that's causing some drama. Uh, a dramatic mini series. The closures will happen again starting in about one hour. Dan is live downtown and hoping to get out before the confusion starts. <laughs> Hopefully, Tim. Uh, and the city of Dallas is hoping that the really big backups we saw yesterday won't be as bad today. One thing they're doing is delaying the time when the barricades go up to try and disrupt the morning rush hour as little as possible. Officials are also promising more police officers will be on hand to try and keep things moving. The street closures in and around uh, Dealey Plaza will start today at 9 a.m. and continue through 7.30 p.m. Elm, Main, and Houston streets are affected. Hulu is shooting a nine-part series called 112263. It's about a time-traveling English teacher who tries to stop the assassination of President Kennedy. You could see vintage cars and period costumes in Dealey Plaza on Tuesday. But for those who were stuck in the surrounding traffic, the glamour of Hollywood proved to be not so alluring. All these people right here, we're all we're trying to make a living for our families and we can't get to the next sales call, the next opportunity. So I've been sitting for 15 minutes. Uh, we've been sitting here for a long time. Really frustrating? Long. Very frustrating, yes. The Dealey Plaza street closures will also be in effect tomorrow, again, 9 a.m. to 7.30 p.m. 11.22.63 stars James Franco, the series based on a novel by Stephen King. Now, on Tuesday, the city of Dallas sent out a tweet apologizing to drivers for the backups, adding that while the city encourages production companies to film here, it underestimated the impact on traffic. So, a few modifications today, a few changes, designed to keep traffic moving. We'll see how effective those measures turn out to be. With more on that, let's check in with Chip Wagner. You know, those measures of moving that start time back to nine has certainly helped moving over in that area just north of Reunion uh, around the interchanges of Maine, Commerce, and Irve. For drivers trying to move through this area, and Elm, I should say, and the, the area that once we get past nine that I've marked off in blue will be the real big spots to avoid. If you have a business to take care of or do stuff in that area, trying to park outside of there and walking in, taking DART would be a better alternative than to sit through the traffic jams. Now we need to pull out just a little bit and get to some highway problems. 